Right, today I'm reviewing a product kindly sent to me by Move Shoot Move. It's called the Tri Adapter. So we're going to have a quick unboxing now. And there we have it. It's effectively a clamp that makes life easier when you're trying to image through your telescope or your binocular or a spotting scope or a microscope, anything like that. Because if you're trying to take pictures through an eyepiece, it's quite difficult to hold your camera's phone lens directly in the right place above the, the eyepiece. It's really tedious to keep it still enough and in the right place to keep focus. Takes all the joy out of it, which is why I attempted to make my own adapter a while ago, but it didn't last long, it kind of fell to bits. It was using a bit of wood and elastic bands and it depends really. If you're going to take a picture once in a blue moon through your telescope or binocular or whatever, then that might be fine. But if you're doing it regularly, then I think something a bit more premium like this is going to be a nicer experience from what I've already ascertained from playing with it for a week. What I'll do is I'm going to run through how to use this, how to attach it to your telescope or binocular. And uh, but first, I just want to go over like the build a little bit. So it's 100% metal, which is actually a bit of a lie because there is some rubber pads there to protect your eyepieces so they don't get scratched. There, 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 and there. And I wasn't sure whether this would fit both 1.25 inch and 2 inch eyepieces, which are both the standard sizes. So I decided to pull the trigger on this bad boy and kill two birds with one stone. So I, I've been curious about getting a, another really wide angle eyepiece again. I've not had one for years and I thought it would be a good chance to sort of test out whether this fits as well. So this is the Marvel 80 degree eyepiece. Got massive eye lens, it's chunky two inch barrel and I was 50-50 whether this was going to fit. But if we undo the clampy bit, you can pretty much see how this works, can't you? I mean, it's a clamp for your phone, a clamp for the eyepiece, and some adjustments to move your phone in position over the eyepiece in the correct place. So if we pop that over there, clamp it on. Now the idea is to get the bed of the clamp the same height as the top of the eyepiece. And we can do that using this red anodized section here. Cranking that up. You can do it by eye, but use like the edge of your phone or something as a ruler. I've gone a bit too far there. I always recommend doing this sort of not on, you can do it while the eyepiece is in the telescope. It's just easier to do it with it out really. You can see what you're doing better. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? So make sure that's clamped on properly. That's solid as a rock. And now all we do is put your phone on, open up your camera app. This seem, appears to be already on. Position, open up your clamp, have it so it's roughly in the right place because what we can do clamp it down and then if you do that somewhere where it's quite light and take it out and put it in your telescope in the dark then you don't have to unclamp it again now it's got three axis adjustments there there and there so you can simply adjust it and get the circle nicely in the middle ready for when you pop that in the telescope. You don't have, with the more affordable ones, the design looks like it's the kind of thing where you have to undo the clamp and keep adjusting it, risking the chance of the whole thing going on the floor basically. And you don't really want that if you've got an expensive phone. Mine's not too expensive, it's an old Samsung, but if you've got an iPhone 15 or something, I'd probably recommend going for a more premium adapter <laughs> rather than the plasticky ones. But it's really that simple, incredibly simple to use. And you barely need to use the instructions, really. Like it comes with these instructions and this nice box. Lots of information on the box. It gives you a visual clue of what 
what it's compatible with, binoculars, spot and scopes, telescopes, microscope. Shows you what it looks like. Shows you how to attach it and some example pictures. Got all the information for getting in touch with them if you need to. Warning, if your phone has multiple lenses, then please turn off auto lens. Yeah, do everything manually, basically. The instructions look pretty good, and they sent me the... I've lost it now. Oh, I did it under air. They sent me the remote shutter for this, which is good because it means you're not pressing the button on the phone, shaking it as you're trying to take a picture. And this was so, so easy to connect, it was unreal. So basically with this, it's got two buttons one for ios users and one for android users and i don't know if they favor the the um, iphone users because the button's twice as big but my button for this phone is a tiny one here it's the one that says android in very tiny writing to use it it's got a switch on the side turn it on you get a blue flashing light to let you know it's done its thing go into your cog setting on your phone connections bluetooth and it should be uh, emitting so you get a AB shutter free come up. This is already connected, but if it's not already connected, just press connect and then go to your phone app. And then you can take pictures. So if I, for example, I can take a picture of that eyepiece there and that comes up. It's a bit of a doddle to use really that is and prevents any vibrations of you tapping the phone while it's connected to your telescope while you're taking pictures of the moon or the planets or whatever. So really simple to use. Instructions are very clear. Now, some measurements. So it's compatible with smartphones that are 60 mil to 87.5 mil wide, which is 2.36 to 3.44 inches and it's compatible with eyepieces from 22 to 61. So this big and air must just about be below 61. All 1.25 inch standard eyepieces and at least some of the big two inch eyepieces will fit. But they do an Excel version of this with a bigger clamp for those that need something to attach to a truly enormous eyepiece. Now, as I said, this is all aluminium CNC machined. I was quite impressed that the, the knobs were not plastic, they're all metal. And a lot of the knobs have got little grub screws in, so you could undo the grub screw and remove that. They're not just like glued and pressed on. It's a bit of milling out there to save uh, a bit of weight. And it weighs 233.5 grams or just over half a pound. You can see it's very light basically, can't you? And let's demo it on a pair of binoculars as well, so we can see what it's like on a pair of bins. You can just clamp that over there. It's just so simple, isn't it? Lovely intuitive to use. Clamp it on there. Drop that down. Oh, hold on, I might put it a little bit higher. Drop that bed down so it's the same height as the eye cup. That'll do. Pop your phone on. It's already pretty much in the middle and just I'm just gonna focus on something at the bottom of the see some paint tins at the bottom of the garage. Bit of a close view for you to be able to see that very clearly. But yeah. That's super simple to use and I'm going to be using it a bit more on the channel because my channel leans more towards beginner astrophotography and astronomy than it does the more sort of in-depth stuff. I'm all for getting people into the hobby and I kind of enjoy stuff that's not too complicated myself. So this is perfect introduction to astrophotography from many people, a smartphone adapter, because people are familiar with their phones and now their phone camera works and it's amalgamating what they already know with a new piece of equipment, if they get a telescope for example, but they already know how to use half of it, which is their phone. 
and I've been using it with a solar telescope and I'll show you some footage and some pictures taken with it. It's very light here in England in July so it's not getting dark until about midnight-ish so I've not had the chance to use it and it's been very cloudy for July so I've not really had the chance to use it in anger at night but I've used it several times on the Coronado PST solar telescope and that's been a real good laugh and I've took some pictures so I'll show you those I'll pop some links in the description if you want to check them out now move shoot move sent me this free of charge and said I could keep it but they don't get to see this video before I upload it or anything like that so everything I say is just what I say I don't really have much of a filter so you get to hear what I really think about it like the things that I'm a little bit baffled about were are there is a bit of play in this clamp like as soon as it travels too far out it disengages from that pin there so I'm not sure if that's normal or not I think it is because it's solidly in there and it's quite a short pin it's fine it's fine I'm just wondering why I'm not sure why they didn't have another pin there the same that side on that side so it's got less wobble I'm not sure there must be a reason for it but I'm really nitpicking here because it's very solid and the competitor to this is the Celestron XYZ I'd say and that's very different prospect it's all plastic pretty much and it's quite a chunky thing and looks a little bit more complicated it's got like a spring-loaded phone holder and clamp instead of locking them down you can lock the spring-loaded clamp and it can fit two inch eyepieces as well as 1.25 inch eyepieces but because it's plastic it's a bit more flexy this is rock solid it's very well machined actually speaking as an ex-CNC machinist so I think it's pretty good if you're going to be doing a lot of uh, what we call a focal imaging which means imaging through like an eyepiece as opposed to having your camera directly attached to the telescope using the telescope as the as the optic um, and if you're doing that kind of imaging I think this is something definitely to consider because it will also keep your phone safe because once it's clamped in place you don't have to undo the clamp you can do all your adjustments via these knobs you don't have to unclamp it in the dark risking dropping your phone on the concrete all that remains to say is a big thank you if you made it this far for the video as always massive thank you to my channel members and patreons you guys are incredible and anyone else if you want to see more content you know what to do you don't need me to tell you what to do and uh, hopefully i'll see everyone on the next video